counties are still tallying up votes for the presidential race. Today, leaders taking to the state's capital, providing an update and speaking out against conspiracies and several fraud accusations. So far, 69 counties in the state have certified their election results. 90 are left counting. Amber Spradley has an update from Lowndes County. Well, we still do not have a final vote count in the state of Georgia, but here at the elections office in Lowndes County, you can now see the county's certified results posted on their door. The supervisor of elections, Deb Cox, here telling me they had these results into the state by Friday. The facts are the facts regardless of outcomes. This is Gabriel Sterling with the Georgia Secretary of State's office addressing the nation Monday. Sterling debunking several rumors, saying there were no ballots in a Spalding County dumpster, no double counting in Gwinnett County, and all ballots accounted for in Fulton. When the margins are this tight, every little thing matters. So this office will thoroughly investigate and we will work to find ways. We know the system counted properly. We know the ballots that were there were counted properly and correctly. We know that. We're going to have an audit to prove it and it looks like more than likely the president will ask for a recount to reaffirm that. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of scare tactics going on. There's a lot of rumors and Facebook nonsense. Supervisor Deb Cox telling WCTV there were no machine problems or voting irregularities to report in Lowndes County. I have total confidence in the equipment. Um, I got to see firsthand that it works really well. According to a campaign news release, Republican Congressman Doug Collins set to lead Georgia's recount team. Collins giving up his seat in the House, but falling short in the race for the state Senate runoff. The Associated Press claiming no evidence has been provided to back the campaign's claims of voter fraud. And although recounts have happened many times before in Georgia, this will be the state's very first election recount with the new voting system. Reporting in Lowndes County, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. Amber tells us all counties must have the results certified by Friday. According to Georgia law, officials will then have one week to certify the state's final results. Georgia's deadline is November 20th.